Cardi B recently opened up about her highly anticipated sophomore album, um, her experience with motherhood and her relationship with Offset in a Rolling Stone magazine article. However, there are some upset with the credit that she's t- talking or taking, I should say, in multiple places. In the article, Cardi says the following. I know for I a fact, know for a fact that I'm a staple. Like, you know. I know for a fact that I opened an effing door. I know for a fact that I can rap. I know for a fact that I can make effing hits. Sometimes people be trying to belittle me and it's like, no, I'm that B and y'all effing know it. Yes. I, look, she Cardi didn't continue. Said, Hold on. She, she wasn't oh, done. No, um, no. Oh, sorry. I think that was it. Sorry. Sham, wow. <laughs> <laughs> look, Cardi, Cardi B stands in front of the mirror and she tells herself that every single day because she has to convince herself that that is true. It is not, but she needs to convince herself that that information she put out is a fact. I did have another quote. And then the other quote, she took credit for um, bringing or making labels more willing to sign non-established women rappers. Okay. You know, and that's what she took credit for. That's what she took credit for. Well, I'm telling you, and I told y'all that when we're talking about facts, it's a fact that she has to tell her that tell her that tell herself that to convince her that it's true. And it's also a fact that I told you guys back in 2018 that we will never get another Cardi B album and we've never got she one talked since. about that as well. Yeah, she said she she stated that she's a perfectionist and she doesn't like to release stuff that she's not 100 percent satisfied with. So she said she's made tons of records. She just hasn't been satisfied to the point with either the production or the beat or the way that she's rapping to put it out there because she wants hey, to respect and- she wants to respect her fans in a way that shows that she's giving them quality stuff that's what she's saying. Make them make sense. So, so this is the same person who just sat up there and said i opened up doors i'm the reason they signed in these people i'm that b i'm this i'm that and i'm th- uh, that and third but i'm not confident in my work to put it out because you it wasn't know, i'm not confident it was just like she didn't feel like she and, and also, didn't feel like she's given her best efforts or yeah, everything has also, come together as well as she expected it to we've seen the work that you get done and with that plastic surgery stuff we've seen the plastic surgery that you get done you're not a perfectionist uh here's the thing Thanks. Cardi, she she has, she's not Cardi doing the surgery not talk about people's looks. Cardi, Cardi has opened the Take door words. right she has like, opened the door your words. i won't apologize <laughs> she, she has opened the door she is probably the only person from a reality tv show that's been in the studio that actually had something come out. <laughs> you <laughs> can. <laughs> She's actually on par with everybody else from Love and Hip Hop, who get bees no, in the no, studio no, all the time, and we no, don't see no effort. We don't see that. No, no what I mean it. is, don't belittle her. Talking about the people that we're started, not talking about Rashida, okay? Like we're talking about people, people who make hits. I'm t- listen. Hear me. I'm yeah. not talking about people that started in the studio and then needed TV. Exactly. I'm talking about Homegirl was on TV because she needed TV. And right. was up in that studio and pushed out hits. She they was, was on TV because play. she was the most boisterous stripper in America. And she decided <laughs> to make a career out of it and turn it into rap, okay? That's why she was on TV. That's a door open yeah. if you ask me. She might have Somebody told the me there's this word that keeps coming to my ear. Like my producers just had me this word. What's it? Payola? What's that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Miami is uh, trending to be uh, top 10. Um, on urban radio, for whatever that's worth, you know. Who, so, who are these people? Who are these people? Her newest song, Miami, even if you probably yes. haven't heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Cardi always puts out these songs, and the songs always do well, but yet there's no album and stuff like that. Like, something's keeping this lady afloat, and it ain't just talent. 